Hi you guys, welcome back to the program. This is my dividend portfolio update for the week of uh, December 2nd through the 5th, or through the 6th, actually today's the 5th. Uh, we're going out of town for my wife's birthday this weekend. Now, I did not do an update last week due to the fact that uh, I was on shift on Thanksgiving and the day after, so because of the short week, I combined the two weeks into one. As you can see, the market is down this week. Uh, we started about 31.50 and right now we're down to 31.14. Uh, had a big drop on Tuesday. Uh, recovered a little bit on Wednesday. Today we're pretty flat for the day. Uh, we're still at above 3,100 you guys so we're still rocketing right along as far as that goes. If we take a look at the month you see that it's been up and down, but for the most part, we are still up since the beginning of November. Uh, if we look back, we're below, we're right at 3080 there to start, actually uh, 3074, and currently we're at 3112, 3114. Uh, year to date is where we really get the thing now. This is going back to last December where we had that drop, so we went from 2447. All the way up to 3114, which is a pretty awesome climb, you guys. Overall, uh, S&P is doing really well. I like to use the S&P because it's the biggest index, tracks 500 biggest co companies, and gives us a pretty good idea of what is going on. All right, you guys, moving on to my dividend portfolio. We're going to start with my M1 account, which you know is my newest account. It's also my smallest account, uh, but it's where I do have... Uh, several individual dividend paying stocks. If we look at the activity for the last two weeks, you see that I had a deposit uh, both last Monday and this Monday. And I would like to say that I did have my first referral bonus. Uh, thank you to Evan Burke for that, one of my subscribers who got me the $10 bonus by using my M1 link. You guys, if anybody's interested in getting a uh, a free $10 when you sign up for M1. You can use my link. It does give me a $10 bonus. Uh, I do have to say that that is a referral link that I have. Uh, you certainly do not have to use it, but if you do, uh, my, my channel benefits a little bit, so I appreciate that. Uh, on Monday, I had four buys. If we click on those, we say that we bought some McDonald's, which is still down, a little bit of Walmart, a little bit of national fuel gas, and some waste management. Also, you see that we got my first water or Aqua America dividend for 51 cents, bringing my portfolio balance up to 2406.18, which for a lifetime gain is $34 or about 2.4%. Uh, and you see earned dividends complete, $12.91. All right, okay, moving on to my Ally account, Ally account here. You see that I have uh, not really added anything to this. Uh, looks like I've got a lot of red on my balance sheet right here, but in the end, I'm really only down two different stocks, and both of those are Ford and Exxon, which I have been adding to pretty regularly. Uh, I did get a couple of dividends this this month, uh, early this week, I got a Ford dividend for $4.50 as well as a Pfizer dividend for $5.40. Other than that, uh, I haven't really added to anything in this account this week. I've been mostly adding to my account in M1. Okay, so now we're looking at my Vanguard stocks and we start with my individual stocks. AT&T is up a little bit. Looks like uh, Clorox, Johnson & Johnson, and Procter & Gamble all down a little bit. But all are three, all four are still in the green overall. Uh, moving on to my REIT stocks. Now, you guys remember, I keep my REITs and my REIT uh, ETF both in my uh, Roth because I do not want that. Remember, all dividends paid by REITs are taxable as ordinary income, so I do not want that. I like my dividends to be qualified. So both my AGNC and my realty income are down. Uh, both of those are monthly repayers, and they usually pay the middle of the month, so I haven't seen that yet. 
Uh, my Vanguard High Yield Dividend ETF, ticker VYM, is uh, down for the day a little bit, but I'm still up a couple, $300 it looks like, $289. Uh, and as I said, my VGSLX, which I keep in my Roth IRA is up, and you see over a lifetime that one's been up a lot. Uh, remember, I've actually not been adding to this. I've actually been taking from it. Uh, I bought that in about 2010 when it was still reasonably priced, and I've had a lot of appreciation in that one over the time. Now, I asked you guys about whether I should consider that part of my dividend portfolio, and nobody answered me. So if you've decided that maybe I should, let me know, and I'll add it in. But uh, my total that I'm showing does not include that. Uh, that was before I became a little more focused on dividends. Uh, I believe you can get the market with just a few. I use the four fund method, uh, total international, total stock market. I like a read index, and then I have a total bond fund for my four uh, and since then, I've been adding individual stocks, as you can see. Once again, I wanted to thank uh, Evan Burke for him uh, using my referral link. He saw my video for M1 Finance and was nice enough to actually to actually use it, and uh, I got the benefit of that. So appreciate to that, you guys. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing. It really helps out the uh, algorithm for YouTube. And as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making these updates. Thanks a lot.